hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll just provide you the green type matte effects and which is like that yeah and that is the creative one so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and this tutorial will be like a little bit shorter to get you or give you that preset so here the photo i'm just opening it up and here i just downloaded this one from the unsplash.com providing you the photo download link in my video description so check it out press ctrl j for the copy of this photo or the background layer or you can drag it and drop here over here so you'll get the copy of this layer why i do copy that just because of the practice purpose uh, if i make the experiment over this layer and i could delete that but the background is my backup that's why i just make a copy of this layer after that filter camera filter thousand time i just told that camera filter is a plugins of the photoshop and you will get the camera filter by default in your photoshop just because of the creative cloud version giving you these plugins by default but you are the user of the cs version and you can just download these plugins manually and install it if you want to get the download link please check out my video description thousand time i just told that here is the load settings options go to the load settings and here artistic green i just give in the name of this preset so here what i have done here this is not too much colorful and not too much like a black and white and this is like a, a faded type that's why i just given the name the artistic green or the faded green whatever you can tell so let's see what i have done here and contrast i made it plus 23 highlights minus 10 shadow plus 87 and just because of the shadow is the thing which is providing you the lights of the full ambient photo here the vibrance minus 26 and the saturation 18 so here the rgb and three colors actually i didn't touch that any other colors but rgb i just made it like that here i locked it out here is some like no little bit light that's why i made it locked over here here and here is too much light and color and i just locked over here and i provide it like that so this one is a grammar and you can add the grammar if you add the grammar it will be matte type and it will be more artistic there is a detailing option the amount of sharpening amount that is the 43 and just everything so on here is the hsl panel i just work two or three colors one is the blue and another one is the aqua aqua and blue i just made the hue that is plus 73 and blue minus 53 here the green color i made it plus nine rest of the thing is zero saturation i made it minus 82 you know the saturation is the deep color or color depth that's why i just made like that i just reduce the red from this photo and green as well that is minus 48 green saturation value aqua saturation value 62 and the blue saturation value 80 and luminance i just made the luminance of the orange color for the face i made it plus 20 and in it increased the face color and yellow as well that is the 15 here the split toning i didn't touch that no lens correction issues effects i didn't use that actually i just did use here minus seven for the little bit vignetting vignetting is the light or black thing in a four sides so i made it like minus seven camera calibration just red primary plus 51 and the hue of the green primary plus 23 and saturation minus 100 so i desaturated this one that's why you are getting this color so like that and hit okay it will give you the artistic look or matte type green whatever you can tell but that is the creative things so if you represent creatively your photo it will be more like um, audience friendly 
actually uh, sometimes we want to watch the different types of effects in the photographs just because of always we do like look the traditional thing uh, i do like cultivate that things just go out from the tradition and just think out of the box and do out of the box something that's why i just made this type of preset and just i'm making these things um, and making for you guys and this one is free of cost thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you want to get the download link of this preset please check out my video description and if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications until the next video i am signing out today bye bye